Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast, where we are for competitors only. This is a Miami Heat t-shirt, but I think this stands in the case of everything that we represent at Come On Now, the podcast. We are competitors. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. We have busted through 5,000. We're coming closer to 5,500 and then the six and the seven. Help us get there, man. I appreciate y'all today. We, we dropped the podcast uh, video earlier today. We thank you for your viewership of that, of that video. And this one as well, because <clears throat> it's going to be in the same demographic of content. Because what are we talking about now? We're talking about ticket prices. Ticket prices. <clears throat> As we discussed earlier today, the Minnesota Lynx had a, a, an arena that was 60% empty. Now, I learned this today <clears throat> when I was doing this little research experiment to find out about ticket prices. And I learned that the Minnesota Lynx flat out curtain off their entire upper deck. It's the playoffs and you curtain off your upper deck. Why do you even play there then? Why not play where the Minnesota Golden Gophers play? I presume it seats less. Why not play in the local high school gym? I presume it seats less. We are talking about a team that was 30 and 10. And they are playing in an arena that has a curtain around the entire upper deck in the playoffs. So that explains the complete trash can attendance. But we already know why it's, why it's completely curtained off. It's because they can't put anybody else in there. And there's no purpose in incurring expenses for staff, concessions, etc. in the upper deck. When you can't fill the lower bowl. <clears throat> so right now, we are looking at two games tomorrow between the Aces and the Liberty. And we're looking at the Lynx and the Connecticut Sun again. And just for your knowledge, tomorrow, those games are on ESPN2. They have been demoted from ESPN. You can bet your ass if Caitlin Clark was playing on one, in one of these games tomorrow, the game would likely be on ABC or at the very least ESPN. Instead, <clears throat> this amazing sport that is on fire and all that good stuff has been demoted and is behind Major League Baseball wild card playoffs. I'm a baseball fan, so I will be watching the playoffs for Major League Baseball. <laughs> Even though the Yankees won't play until later this week, I think it's probably Friday or Saturday, <clears throat> you have a 2.30 Detroit versus Houston on ABC, 4 o'clock Kansas City, Baltimore on ESPN2, 5.30 the Mets versus Milwaukee, on ESPN, and at 8.30, Atlanta at San Diego on ESPN. So while Major League Baseball, which many people think is a dead sport, is on ESPN at night, the WNBA semifinals are on ESPN, too. Let that marinate for a second. Why do you think that is? It's because they know that no one's going to watch the games. I'm, I'm really curious to see what the TV ratings will be tomorrow night on ESPN2. Um, I st we still don't know what the ratings are, were for yesterday. Uh, we know what the attendance was. A 60% empty building in one arena and in another arena where there was a good almost 4,000 empty seats. or I'm sorry, unsold tickets because we have to understand what this is. These are unsold tickets. The Barclays seats over almost 18,000. They just got in over 14. I got people on these on these boards saying that they sold out. No, they did not sell out. 
They did not sell out. Because if you know you're going to sell 18,000 seats, you're not closing off sections. And I don't think they closed off any sections in the in the Barclays, the Barclays Center. But I don't want to hear it. They did not sell out. And the reality is, and as I said yet earlier today, ticket sales are ticket sales. People in seats are people in seats. The way these teams now count this stuff is based on ticket sales, which makes sense because the ticket is sold. Who cares who shows up? Well, you should care if you have home court and you want to have people in seats to cheer you on. But again, ticket sales are what determine the number. Back in the day, you could sell out a game and they would tell you exactly how many people showed up. All the time. You'd always know. They would, that's what they would be reported is people who went through the turnstile. But speaking of tickets, <clears throat> going into the Connecticut series, Indiana, with the two games being played at Connecticut, the entry price on Vivid and StubHub, the entry price, that means the cheapest ticket to get into the building at least based on what I've what I've seen, what I reviewed. In game one was $133.65. This was before the series began. Game one was $133.65. That was the get-in price to sit in the upper deck. And remember, that's a small arena. Seats like less than 10000 Again, real great marketing that you're going to play in a small arena rather than go to the – go. I mean, where where is – where does – where does – what city is the Connecticut Sun in? I don't. It's Unca Un Uncastville, Montville, Connecticut. Where is that? <clears throat> where is where is that specifically? Because I'm looking at where the nearest city is. It's funny to me that, that this. I mean, my gosh. It's it's wild to me that they play this over here rather than in Hartford. I I, I don't know because I'm pretty sure the Hartford. The Hartford Civic Center seats sixteen thousand two ninety four. It's now the Hartford Excel Center. So you had a chance against the Indian people to have sixteen thousand plus in the arena. I guess you realize that it would be mostly Caitlin Clark fans, so you just avoided that. But for a team in the WNBA to, NBA to play in a town that's literally the size of a closet, I don't really understand. I'm just being honest. I don't really get it, <clears throat> how they got positioned there. I mean, it would be like having a, a team in South Florida and putting them in Fort Myers or Fort Pierce. You wouldn't do that. seems like Uncastville is something more than a, basically it's – the, the Mohegan Sun uh, and the Indian and the Native American Indian Village or whatever they call it, uh, Native American property. I'm not sure. I'm guessing the Mohegan Na it's the Mohegan Nation land claim settlement, blah blah blah. Mohegan Indian Tribe of Connecticut. So this looks like it's probably their their land. But again, I, I don't really know. I'm not speculating. I don't know the specifics. But again, you could be playing in Hartford, which is how far from there? Hartford to Uncastville. It's a 45 minute drive. Let me give you an example of a 45 minute drive. 45 minute drive is my house to where the Miami Heat play. I get to the Miami Heat Caseya Center in 45 minutes. I live in Northern Broward County, Pompano Beach, Florida. They play in downtown Miami. It takes me 45 minutes to get there. So it's 45 minute drive to go from Uncastville to Hartford. And you didn't move these games to, first of all, you should be playing them in Hartford to begin with, but you didn't move these playoff games to Hartford. Weak. Um, but let's talk about what it costs now for these playoff games. Because, like I said, Indiana was 133.65 for game one and 116.25 for game two. I'm going to presume that the the numbers changed a little bit. But let's take a look at <clears throat> what the walk-in price is 
for the Liberty and Aces in Brooklyn. And I will share that with you right now. And we're going to go through this because I want you to see just how atrocious <laughs> this is. Because there's no chance in hell. But let's zoom this in. The lowest price to get in right now in the Barclays Center is $35. There are 275 listings for tickets right now. And it says 73 fans recently purchased. It doesn't cost $35 to go to a Yankees game. To a Yankees game. Let's 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 compare. <clears throat> I'm doing it right with you. New York Yankees. Saturday. The walk-in price in the grandstand is $76 on Vivid right now. That's the walk-in price. That is sitting out. Jesus, that's 406 all the way up here by, by God. You're watching the game with God. This is on this is on Saturday. This is game one of a five-game series in baseball. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what it costs to sit here. Oh my God. $2,838 for a box seat or lower level. Let's look at here, 115. $479. Over here, look, look at these prices. You see these prices? Go up here, 200. I mean, like, look at 227 is, I mean, God. <clears throat> I, I want you to see that because I want you to truly understand how utterly embarrassing this is. That game two of the WNBA semis. So this is a divisional playoff game. Game one that the walk-in price is $76 in the same damn city that this game right here is being played. Well, it's in the Bronx. This is in Brooklyn. 35 bucks. $35. Now let's go look at real tickets. So if you want, if you want to sit lower level, sideline, baseline, corner, the cheapest ticket to sit lower level is $73. That's section 31 right here. $73 is the walk-in for a playoff game against the team that beat you in the championship last year. Okay, let's go look at the lower level baseline. <clears throat> lower level baseline, 73. That's, that's 31. Okay. <clears throat> um, take away the baseline. Corners, row, uh, section 28, that is $88. See, man, this is before fees. Now let's go look at the lower level sideline. Lower level sideline, uh, section lower level seven right here, $128. This is the equivalent of sitting in a Yankee stadium for 3000 bucks. I mean, this is the equivalent of $3,000. I didn't even get to the point of looking at you, but the tickets prices were right here, $1,779. let us go look right here. I don't even know what else you got available right here. $3,786. Behind the dugout, 1,892, 3,786, 2838. I mean, boy, they ain't playing, man. So let's go look at the best tickets in the house. VIP floor level, $390 has you sitting. VIP eight right here, center court, row five. Let's see what floor seats are. $1,000, row BB floor 17, where the heck is that on this? It's right here, 1068 I don't think anyone's paying that for those tickets, by the way. I don't think anyone is. The highest price ticket is $4,940. $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, $4, that is right 
I don't even know. Oh, hell no, I'm not buying that. You must be. Oh, I'm sorry. The fees make it $6,668. <laughs> the point being, you got to get to levels of being literally sitting on the court for it to be hard to get into this building. This is basically you get in this building for, for nothing. All right. $35 in New York, in New York City. $35? Bruh. Imagine what these ticket prices would look like if Caitlin Clark was playing. It would be five times that to get in. Maybe more. <clears throat> but this is actually not as bad. That okay, that's and that's on that's on uh, Vivid. On StubHub, it's the entry price is $40. For the aces and liberty, so I'm looking. I'm giving you both. I'm giving you examples of both. Thirteen hundred down by the court. Night two thousand by the court. Seventeen hundred. Twelve hundred eighty-two. That was say yeah. You can hit sit lower level for a hundred. Eighty-eight dollars. Ninety dollars. One twenty-six. Seventy-six. One hundred four. Eighty-eight, eighty-six. I mean, you can get in this place for less than a hundred bucks. Seventy-four dollars. I mean, and I'd have a good seat. <clears throat> I guarantee you, that would not be the price of a, of a Brooklyn Nets ticket. But let's look at the real bad one, which is the Minnesota Lynx. As you see, nothing up here is for sale because they have it blocked off. I wonder if their suites are even for sale. I don't I have no idea. Their cheapest ticket is $31. That is section 109. You're basically sitting side court. 113 is $32. 113, 33. 136 is 34. Court side here is 235 bucks, 283 and 573. God. You're sitting in the second level of Yankee Stadium for 573. <clears throat> Lower level baseline, 148. Uh that's 148. Wow. <clears throat> Lower level sideline. Again, $31. What is it here? 134 is the low, 183, th 32 bucks, 34, 107, 111. Dude, you can get in this. This is this costs nothing. And they still can't fill this goddamn place up. They still can't fill this place up. Now, if you go and look on StubHub, the walk-in price is 23 bucks. $23 to sit right here. $23. 121. $23. 126. 26. 126. 27. 45, 101, 105, 75, 31. I think you get the point. I think you get the point. Caitlin Clark's tickets would be going for 133.65 to walk in the door on game one. In game one. That is more, that is to sit, remember, that's to sit in the upper deck. It's not to sit in the lower level. So you have a team that these teams can't command. Like I said, they can't draw flies. They cannot draw flies. And it's flies to, you know what? They can't draw. Nobody cares. Nobody's interested. ESPN just told them to their faces that nobody cares. Because ESPN decided we're going to put baseball, divisional playoff, I'm sorry, wild card. Not the divisional playoff. It's the, the Yankees are the, the divisional on Saturday. This is the wild card. Wild card baseball. And it's game one, not game two. It's game one. We're gonna, they're going to put wild card baseball game one on ESPN and put these two games on ESPN2. If you think that doesn't tell you something, you're dreaming. There's a reason there's an ESPN. There's a reason there's an ESPN, too. 
There's any reason there's an ACC network, an SEC network, an ESPN Classic, ESPN News, ESPN, whatever the hell else they got going on. I've, I've lost tra- ESPN Plus, ESPN 3. Heck, if this was last year, it might be on ESPN 3. It might be on the internet only. <clears throat> but you're talking about game two of the playoffs in the semifinals. And it costs $35 to walk in to a game in New York City. In New York City. It costs more to go from the airport to a hotel in New York City than it will cost you to go to a game. You go to the Liberty Aces game tomorrow night. It would cost you more for a, a dinner than it will cost you to go to the Aces and Liberty game tomorrow night. Not even a great dinner. <laughs> I mean, not even a great dinner. Not even a, a top shelf restaurant. You're talking a mid level. You go two people to do a dinner uh, shoot at a Texas Day Brazil, which is basically all you can eat buffet, and it'll run you fifty. What's fifty fifty five dollars a person plus a few plus soda or, and dessert, and then going for one fifty. Maybe more if you drink some. It'll cost you $75, $80, $90 to walk into the Barclays with two people. Add the concessions, you're at $150, I guess. This is pathetic. And the WNBA is going to lie to your face and tell you they didn't need Caitlin Clark here. It didn't matter. The fact that the Minnesota Lynx are playing with a curtain around their upper deck tells you how much it matters. The fact that the New York Liberty, who play in a city that has – what's the metro area of New York City now? Let's let's take a look at what that is now because I don't remember. It's got to be upper. Let's <clears> – <throat> Metro New York City population <laughs> – the metropolitan area of New York is 23.6 million people. People that don't know, metropolitan New York includes Jersey City, parts of Jersey, parts of Connecticut, parts of Pennsylvania. Let's just go look at the, that New York, New York City population. 8.336 million people. I don't know if that includes Long Island or not, but over 8 million people in, in an area that's really, really small. <clears throat> Let's go take a look at what the population of Indiana is, Indianapolis. The population of Indianapolis is 880,621. The Indiana Metro is 2.11104 million. So I want you to take that into consideration that you have 23.6 million people in the metro area to 2.11104 million people and 880,000 in the actual city and yet the Indiana fever put in 17,000 a game to see Caitlin Clark and the New York Liberty could not sell out their building unless Caitlin Clark or Angel Reese were there in the building. But you keep, but WNBA will keep on telling you that this sport is thriving, rising, amazing, all that good stuff. They're lying to you. They've been lying to you. And they're going to keep lying to you. It's like you tell yourself the lie enough times to the point where you believe the lie. I don't believe the lie because I know it's a lie. Because I know what my eyes see. I know that I'm watching bad basketball with a curtain around the upper deck. I know what I'm watching. I know what I'm seeing. And the data is in my face. The data, you, you, WNBA doesn't like data. They only like the data when it includes Caitlin Clark because they take take the Caitlin Clark attendance out of it. 
their attendance is virtually is less than it was last year. So they can keep telling their lies. That I'm curious to see what the ratings will be. Let's see if the ratings have come out yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they haven't because I did talk to my boy Ben Daniel about the ratings, and he says it should come out tomorrow at like five o'clock. Um, still nothing. 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 Yeah, it's not out here yet. If you don't see it by tomorrow, you know what they're doing. They're hiding it once again. But we'll see. We will see. You have a game that had six Olympians in New York, and they sat 14,000, 15 people. Couldn't sell out the building. Whatever. Good luck to y'all ladies tomorrow or tonight or whenever you people see this video. But what are your thoughts on this? Give me your opinions on this. These ticket prices, I mean, they're pretty, they're ridiculous. They're they're low as hell. And you're going to tell somebody that this is a growing sport? <laughs> you know what it costs to go to a playoff game for the Miami Heat? And the Miami Heat have trash fans. I'm a Heat fan. Miami Heat fans are terrible. Imagine what it costs to go to a game in Boston, a Knicks game, in the second round of the playoffs. I guarantee you it's probably 10 times 35. Let me, know your thoughts in the, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Ring that bell. Be sure to ring that bell. Subscribe. And make sure that bell is on all videos. You get them all. All right? I love y'all. I thank y'all. Come on now.